Hi, I'm Chip. Welcome back to the channel. Has anyone ever told you never to transport a Whirlpool style washing machine on its back or its side? Well, if they haven't, they should have because this is what could happen and I'm going to show you how to fix it. So stay tuned. Have you ever wondered why they say never to transport one of these Whirlpool style machines uh, on its back or on its side? And this is the reason. When they first ship these things, they, you'll see these little cups here. These little cups are used to catch these pins that are these shipping pins. And what, what happens, see the hole in that pin goes through a swash plate in the bottom of the machine. And the consumer has a strap on the back of the machine when they first come to your home. And you pull that strap, it pulls pins out of these the keeper pins out of these holes and these pins fall down into these little cups and they'll stay there for ever unless somebody takes them out but those are shipping pins and the reason they're there is there's a swash plate right here you can see it right here it rides on this that swash plate is just loose and these fins right here on the tub keep it in place. And if you've already pulled these pins out and lay it on its back, this wash plate can get in that line and it can ride up on that fin like that. And you turn it back up, fill that tub with water, and the pressure pushing up on this fin will crack your tub right here. And that totals the machine usually unless you can find a used tub. So never transport your machine on its side. You can see right here when I was first fixing this machine to, to sell, I uh, put it on a test run and I was, I was watching it and I saw this drip. And this drip is from a crack in that, from that fin from somebody transporting this machine on its side. So I had to fix it. You can see this. There's a crack in the tub. From here, back about here. I'm going to attempt to repair it. It's a small crack, but it'll leak water all over your floor. Okay, I pulled the tub on this machine, and you can see the crack. Let's see if I can get a light on it. You can see the crack from here to here, and you can see where that the fin on that bottom of that tub is right here. And what we want to do, we want to mitigate any more splitting. So we take a drill, and right at the end of the crack. I'm going to drill a hole to stop that crack from moving forward. The hole there, and you go to the other end of it, right there. So, that keeps it from spreading any further. Now, what I use to fix these cracks is this stuff right here. It's uh, stuff that Mr. Harper gets that I got in years past from friends that worked on the pipeline. I don't know what they use it for on the pipeline. It's just a plastic rod. You heat the end of it and it melts. And it's, it's, uh, it, it works real well on patching tubs. Uh, you can, I've been on the internet and seen them. I think they're called plastic welding rods. And you can get them in a variety of col colors. My favorite's red and green on account of that's all I have, but I'll show you how this works. Okay, we got our first new torch and kind of melt a little bit on the end of that. And okay. 
Okay, at this point, the, tor the noise of the torch was too much to hear what I was saying, so I'm just going to record a voiceover here. But all you need to do with this stuff is uh, melt it and kind of dab it on the, the uh, spot that you need to seal. And go, uh, make sure you go out maybe an inch uh, or three quarters of an inch away, away each, either side of the crack. Uh, this will, you know, ensure that you get a good seal. And I always do this on the inside of the tub. I guess you could do it on, on both sides if, if you had nothing in the way underneath. It's kind of hard to do. But if you do it on the inside, the pressure of the water pushing down on that um, plastic helps uh, make a good seal against it. I've uh, never had one of these come back to me after I, I, I fixed it and tested it. And these things work really well. Uh, I had one one time that was cracked almost from the edge all the way to the, the spindle and I didn't even attempt to, to, to fix that. Huh? I'll take my course and kind of run over a little bit. Okay. 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 It shouldn't take long for that to cure. But don't get this stuff on you because it burns like hot plastic. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It sure helps my channel and I sure appreciate it. Thanks for watching.